When it comes to investing, Pankaj has very simple concepts. There should be FD, mutual funds, PPF and stocks in the portfolio. One day, he encountered something which made him doubt his concept. He was talking to his friend and when his friend got to know that Pankaj doesn't have commodities in his portfolio, he was surprised. So, should he invest in commodities? Has he missed the opportunity to make money? Then Pankaj told himself that he doesn't know anything about commodities. So it's okay that he did not invest in them. At that time, he changed the topic. But the point got stuck in his mind. He was determined to understand everything about commodities. Hence, he began researching. First thing was, what is commodity trading? On researching, he understood that it is an asset class. It doesn't have much relation with bond or stocks. So what is its benefit? Investing in commodities helps you in diversifying your portfolio which majorly comprises bonds and stocks. Pankaj was figuring out how this happens. So the point is commodities give you the hedge against inflation. Second, it gives you diversification. Third is that commodities are not affected so much by bonds and stocks. Quite good, right? Pankaj was confused about how investing in commodities helped dealing with inflation. Well, it's not complicated. Basically, when inflation rises, commodity prices also increase. This puts pressure on the share market. On the other hand, if inflation does not increase, then the bond and stock market will perform well. Now, the next question for Pankaj was where to invest in commodities. Gold is famous as a safe haven asset. In times of volatility, it gives amazing returns. And if there is inflation in the economy, then it's even better. Because then gold shines brightly. Now Pankaj's new equation was, is it good to invest in gold? Should he invest in gold? Senior Vice President of Motilal Oswal Financial, Navneet Damani, says that you can trade on the exchange or you can also invest in sovereign gold bonds. You can invest through an ETF or digital gold. Small investors can also invest in agri-commodities. Now, what's that? Pankaj wondered. Well, agriculture trading means trading in oil seeds vegetable oil, spices, lentils, etc. Commodities are listed on MCX and NCDEX. Founder of Investography and CFP, Sweta Jain says, small investors can keep 10% of their assets in gold and silver. Investors must always maintain their target. So for Pankaj, Money9 suggests, always stay away from risky investments. This means you should never speculate in hope of a higher return. Investors say that if your portion of commodities increases to 15% from 10%, then don't sell it. Just invest more money in other asset classes. How commodities are traded in India and how can you invest in them? To understand this, watch Formula Guru!